Hey guys, so I figured that I would kind of vlog today and also show you kind of an updated dog routine, which not much has changed because they still are boring dogs. <laughs> um, huh. Yeah. But as you saw this morning, um, we woke up and um, today is Saturday, so definitely definitely slept in especially from working yesterday I usually am pretty tired like after the day that I work um, especially with quarantine going on because it's like a lot at work um, because everything is so different we have to like do Daisy we have to do like extra <laughs> precautions and stuff but as you saw this morning um, I let them outside to go potty um, we usually snuggle like in bed in the morning which we did um, and Andy worked last night so he was in bed with us like at like 6 a.m. this morning um, or like 7 or something so he was like going to sleep as we were waking up which we didn't actually get out of bed till like 10 um, and then I let Daisy out and then Jax heard the door open so he came downstairs and then he went outside um, but I did get that stuff that I put on their food. Um, it's the Shed X stuff and it has like a bunch of extra, um, like vitamins and like omegas and stuff like that in it. So it's supposed to help with shedding apparently, but I haven't seen a difference. They've only been on it for a week, so I will keep you guys updated. But, um, even if it doesn't help them shedding, it does help, like, their coat to be, like, shiny and stuff like that, so, and they like it on their food, so. And I have been giving them a hemp oil, which is, like, kind of like a CBD, but, um, obviously it's not, like, marijuana, um, so definitely do your research on that. Um, but it's supposed to be really good with dogs as far as, like, anxiety goes, and Daisy does have a decent amount of, like, anxiety. She's... She's just like a nervous dog. She doesn't really like, I don't know, certain things just like scare her. And now that she's like super like scared and like nervous, she's just like other, like big noises, thunderstorms. She gets like super excited but also anxious at the same time. Like when we go on a walk or, um, you know, we go like in the car or whatever. Um, she's not like, it's not like she's terrified, it's that she gets so excited that she's almost anxious. So I've been giving her that, and I've also been giving a little bit less to Jax just because it's supposed to also help with like their joints and stuff, and I've definitely seen a difference with her. I didn't give it to him today because Jax was having a little bit of diarrhea, um, and I don't know if it's from the Shed X stuff or if it's from the hemp like CBD stuff, so I'm doing one and then I'm going to switch to do the other to kind of like give try on my to kind of see which one is upsetting his stomach or if it even was that and you know if maybe he just doesn't react to something but Daisy hasn't had I like diarrhea at all so I think she does well on both of them huh <laughs> so but they really like it and then you'll see the stuff that I put on their food when they eat dinner um that stuff has really helped as well are you see girl huh. so I have a ton of homework to do so while I do that they usually hang out here we're in our spare bedroom which is also my office um, they usually hang out and they like to lay on this bed and look out the window as I'm doing my homework that's like literally all they do they both just lay here and look out the window huh yeah you like to do that so while I do my homework that's what they're gonna do there's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you, not doing well. Don't know where you are, cause you're not here. It's been way too long. If I could lay down beside you, I would. Love to 
to hear your voice Not sleeping well And I know that you're right But you should know it You've been gone for way too long now If I can lay down beside you all right, so we're taking a snack break and a brain break because my brain is on fire. <laughs> and they have literally just been hanging out. Huh, Daisy's been laying on the floor and Jax has been laying up here with his paw on the windowsill. Huh, haven't you? Haven't you? Yes, you have. You have. He's been looking out the window and every time a dog goes by, he like growls a little bit because he knows it's, he knows it's bad if he like goes nuts barking. One time a really, really big dog went by and he went nuts. Huh, you did, but he knows it's bad. So every time he like goes nuts at the window, I always tell him no. Like I don't mind if he barks, but also like there's no reason for him to go nuts at another dog at the window because that's just very obnoxious. Are you stretching? Oh my goodness. But I always try to tell him, go, oh, hello. I always try to tell him like, it's okay, go boy, like when a dog goes by, cause that's the problem that we do have with him is he barks a ton, um, which again, I don't mind him barking because I do like to know like if some, like somebody's gonna break into the house or something like that, especially since Andy is gone sometimes. Um, and Daisy also doesn't bark at all unless she sees a bear. Um, so I don't mind that he barks, but he doesn't need to be obnoxiously barking at every dog that goes by, that literally goes by every single day. So I usually just try to tell him like, good boy, it's just another puppy going for a walk. What? Go for a walk? Maybe we will later. Maybe later. So I'm gonna go downstairs, come on, let's go. Let's go. Where are you? I'm gonna let him outside and give him a treat. Do you want a treat? Do you guys want a treat? You want one? Okay. Let's get a treat. So these are the treats that I got him the other day. These ones. They're the Hill Science Diet ones. The commissary actually had these, which is cool because like this is a veterinary brand, like just like that is. The vet the commissary had this food and the can that we like to give them as like a special like something. And then these jerky treats too. Okay, sit. Sit. Shake. Shake. Easy. Good. Go puppies. So yeah, they're really good about taking treats. They don't like really snatch them because they know it's bad. <laughs> Alright, let's go outside. See, we haven't been outside since it's gotten hot today, huh? Quit. She's gonna roll around, I bet. There she goes. <laughs> Sis. Alright, so Andy just got home from going out on the jet skis. Um, I didn't go with him today because I had all this homework that's due tomorrow and we're going up to the river tomorrow. So, I wanted to make sure I got everything done today. Um, but he's cleaning out the jet skis right now, but we're going to take the dogs for a walk. <laughs> They're looking at me. You want to go for a walk? I would go ahead and feed them now because it's about the time that I would feed them, but we're going to go for a walk. And since they know that now, they're not gonna wanna eat anyways. So <laughs> let's go ahead and put their collars on. I always tell, ask them, where's your collar? Where's your collar? <gasps> where's your collar? Where is it? Come on. They don't always wear their collars. So we keep them up here when they don't have them on. Andy likes to take them off, so. Maybe put a dry shirt on or something. All right, come here. Easy. Bye. I know you're excited. Come here, Jax. Jax, come here. Alright, let's get the leashes. There's one. Come here, Jax.
You ready? He hates walking like with his leash just dragging. Look, he like acts like he's like paralyzed. What's wrong? You hate that, huh? That it's like that dragging scares him. He's okay. You're okay. Relax. Sit. Sit down. I'll wait for daddy. So we're gonna take him for a walk. I'll probably take a few clips on my phone because taking the camera is way too much work. That's all I want to do I hope that you are safe And that I will see you soon If I can lay down beside you I will, I will Even if you're gone I won't forget you You're all I know What I need And that ain't changing and Even if you're gone I will Beside you, I would, I would. When nothing really matters, that's all I wanna do. I hope that you are safe and that I will see you soon. If I can lay down beside you, I would, I would. If I can lay down beside you, I would. So we just got back. We didn't take him for like that long of a walk because um, Andy still has to clean off the jet skis before it gets dark. So I will show you guys um, what I put on their food. I have like a hair on my face. <sighs> what I put on their food um, at dinner time because um, I put stuff on, on it in the morning and then in the afternoon whenever they eat now. But she's super tired. Are you tired? Are you tired? Drink some water. Look, get some water. Get some water. See? Jax is tired too. He's laying over there. Are you tired? He did really good too. There was a really big dog that walked by and he didn't even bark. And you listen to mommy. Huh. You listen like a good boy. You did. You did. That was so good, huh? All right, so I'm gonna put their food in their bowl and then I'm gonna I mix it like up here. Um, I get a lot of questions about what food that I feed them. Um, I feed them Purina. I've always fed them Purina because um, when I got them from the breeder, that's what they were on. Um, so I just kept them on that. They were on the puppy chow of that, so I just kept them on it because I knew that they did well on it. Um, and then whenever they turned a year old, I put them on the Purina dog chow and they always liked it. Um, I did try to switch them to like a more expensive brand. Um, I think it was Chase of the Wild and they didn't even like it. So it was like $40 for a bag that was just wasted because they didn't even like it. So I switched them back to the Purina and now they're, they're supposed to be on the Purina like pro plan weight management one because I'm trying to cut their weight down a little bit. Um, they're not like t super overweight, obviously, um, but I do want them to lose a little bit um, and I don't want them to gain anymore. So I just have them on the weight management one. I get that at the commissary um, and it's like 20 bucks. I think it's like $23 for a 20 pound bag and we go through that like every two weeks. Um, but because of quarantine um, and how everybody went crazy at the grocery stores, I had to get them a different brand of dog food because literally everything was gone and I was like, well, I can't, my dogs have to eat, obviously. So I put them back on the original Purina that they were on before, which it's the same brand and I know that they had been on it before, so I knew that their like bellies were fine with that. Um, so that's how you see two bags. We have this one, which is the Purina one, and then this one is just the Purina Puppy Chow. So I've been mixing them together because Daisy, I don't think she really likes, I think she thinks this is boring. It's not that it messes up her belly or anything, but 
she like likes the little like chicken bits that are in the one that she's originally on so that's why i've been mixing the two so this one's almost out and this one's almost out too so i'll be able to get the one that they're supposed to be on next time when they're out and we go to the store so that's why you see two different bags and two different foods <laughs> but so they always get a half of a cup or one and a half cups um in the morning and at night so they get three cups a day important to have a measuring cup that actually has like real measurements on it because if you're saying well they're just getting a cup like a random cup that I have well that's not a measuring cup size um so this one came with our little um storage thing and it used to have a handle but it broke off but um like a full amount is one cup it has right there and then the next line is half of a cup so I just give them one and then a half Okay, so this is what they get um, in the afternoon every day. It's Glandex. Um, at the vet clinic that I work at, we sell this exact thing. Um, but I got this one off of Amazon. And I think it was like 14 or something for this one. Um, but it's just a powder. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a powder. Um, and it helps with anal glands is mostly what I got it for. Um, and then like fiber and stuff. Let's see. It says, sorry if you guys can't see me, but I'm going to have to change it anyways. Um, helps healthy anal gland function, um, helps your pet boot the scoot, promotes emptying anal glands, supports healthy bowel, digestive, and immune function. So it's good for everything, um, even if you don't need it for anal glands. Um, but like at the vet, we have dogs that come in like all the time for anal glands. And I had to get Daisy's Express because she kept like scooting and licking and it was like pretty irritated down in that area. Um, and then I just give it to Jax too because it's good anyways. So it has um, the uh, serving size by weight, if you guys can see that. So for Jax and Daisy's weight, they're the 51 to 75 pound. They get three fourths of a table of a teaspoon um, once a day. So um, this is a half half teaspoon measuring thing so they'll get one and a half of these um, when I first started them out I did give half of the amount that they're supposed to get so they got um they got three eighths of a teaspoon um because I wanted to make sure that they were okay with extra fiber but this is how much they get now because they had done fine on it and Daisy she actually hasn't been scooting as much um I haven't noticed if they've expressed their anal glands or not while being on this, but that might be happening while they are using the bathroom anyways, so. Um, and they really like this stuff, if you can't tell. They like wait for it, like it's special. She's getting a fly. You guys like this stuff? This is a numb, huh? Get this one for Daisy. I only have one hand. See if she gets really excited. That's good stuff, huh? See if she likes it, her tail's wagging. Here's poppers. Here. Good, huh? That's good. You like it. Let's see them. Yeah, so they really like that stuff. Um, it's the, this one's the beef flavor. Or, yeah, beef liver flavor is what it is got it off of amazon so i'll leave it linked down below i got everything that i showed you guys off of amazon um the hemp cbd that i was telling you guys about that is this one and it's just in a little dropper thing um and let's see what it says it's by the brand billion pets serving size is half of a dropper it has organic hemp oil omega-3 fatty acid omega-6 fatty acid omega-9 something acid vitamin c and e so it's not only is it the hemp extract but it's also like a good multivitamin for them um let's see it can be mixed with food or put in water you can also put it like in ice cubes if your dog likes ice cubes and put that like in an ice cube tray um so yeah this one's really good 
it really helps Daisy a lot, like a lot. Usually she's scared of the hose and we had her out when we were washing off the jet skis one day and she wasn't even scared of the hose like at all. Like she just sat there like it was nothing and wasn't freaking out. But it also doesn't like knock them out to where they're like so tired they like can't get up. Like they still are like energetic and like playful and stuff. Daisy's just not so anxious all the time. It just finished all their food, literally not even a few minutes later. It was good, huh? Jack's finished first, which is odd. He usually takes forever to eat, but he loves that stuff that we put on it, so. Come on, you guys wanna go outside? I'm gonna let him go outside before he gets dark, because it's about to get really dark. So now they're inside, they just went potty. And they honestly didn't do much outside because they're, I think they're pretty tired from their walk. So now they're just gonna lay down while I clean and cook. Thank you.